Okay, shalom, shalom. Hum yes, Allah, kohaloy malaya wa bashim ya wa shai, bashim ya kaka kudash. The honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim ya wa shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Um, it's not going to be nothing long. Um, I wanted to touch on this article though. It's in the Politics Business Insider. The U.S. is quietly warning its Middle East partners about the cost of stocking up on Chinese-made weapons. That's because um, uh, the U.S. is losing right now, man. Uh, the so-called white man, he's actually falling. The Lord is, is bringing his kingdom down. And it's real simple. I mean, we, we're, we're actually watching it play out. We're watching it play out. And these kingdoms right here, even the so-called Chinese. See, the so-called Chinese, man... They, you know, that particular race or nation of people, the Moabites, that's their biblical name. They really think that they're going to come up and like, um, they really think that they're going to be next when they're not. The next rulership or main rulership on the planet is going to be the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans under, the, you know, the rulership of our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. Okay, so it says Middle Eastern countries, including longtime U.S. partners, are buying more Chinese weapons. And that's a slap in the face to the U.S., man. U.S. officials have warned that Chinese-made weapons can't be used alongside U.S.-made hardware. Then they have this um, third um, hookup to it. China isn't offering direct alternatives to what the u.s is selling but washington is still wary why are they wary and, and you already know man it, it, it shit is all business but esau was gifted with the sword and that sword you know what i'm saying is the modern day gun you know what i'm saying that modern day helicopter that modern day um fighter jet that modern day uh you know their navy ships their submarines you know they have the um all these different weapons hey look esau got some shit the so-called white man got some weapons, man. When I tell you that, hey, that man can weaponize your woman. He'll weaponize your man. He'll weaponize your kids against you. This man can turn anything into a fucking weapon, man. He he has that gift. Because it was he was blessed with that gift. Matter of fact, let's go into that real quick. Uh, it's a lot. What is that? Uh, Genesis 20... I think it's chapter 27. It's like you. Bear with me here real quick. Let's see. Um, okay, so when you go up into this story, you know, Genesis, you know, it gives you the, you know, the illustration of Esau, Edom, and um, Jacob. So you have Abraham, I Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, and then you have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And those two twins, they was twins in the in the belly of our foremother, Rebecca. And the scripture says that they came out and that they would be two separate nations, that they would be two manner of people, that they would have two separate spirits, so to speak, right? They weren't going to be the same. But this is the blessing that um, Esau, the so-called white man, got. Let me see. Uh... Here we go right here. It's like you. Um, verse 38. And Esau said unto his father. Now you got to go up into this story. You know, you, you have to read into it. You know what I'm saying? To get the fullness of it. So you'll see what's going on. Because our forefather, Jacob, he actually got the um the blessing. And he got the um birthright. And that's the reason why these so-called white people are so pissed with us to, to this day. A lot of them don't even know why they're fighting us. They don't even know why they hate us. But the elite of them do. The ones that's actually really running the earth. That Job 9 and 24, Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's in control of, you know, um, who can actually get weapons. But now it's starting to flip. He's in control of the gunpowder. He's in control of the materials to put together these these particular types of weapons that they have out here. Um, he's in control of, you know, sanctioning people and, 
you know, he's just all over the planet, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. You know, and he's he's terrorized he's terrorized everybody to the point where they just don't want to deal with him no more. That's why you got this story, like China is 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 taking um advantage of that. That's why you got this BRICS nations. I mean um the BRICS that's popping off. All these different nations are coming together to um get rid of the dollar. You know, they're you know, all these countries and, and actually it's it's America's allies. It's people that's down with America. They sick of this place. They like they you know, like, hey, we we you know, hey shit. We we can't work with him no more. He's not <clears throat> it's like yeah, he's not functional no more. He's not He's just taking every damn thing, you know. We're putting in effort and work. But we're not getting out of it what we should be getting out of it. Only the so-called white man, the Americans, they're they're taking every goddamn thing. And these countries, these leaders, they're like, hey, nah, we gotta, we gotta really just, we gotta get rid of this fucker, man. Anyway, though, Salaki, I wanted to get this here. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Genesis 27 and 38, Salaki. And Esau said unto his father. Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Now this is Jacob. Jacob got it already. The, the, um, matter of fact, our forefather Isaac already told him, like, hey man, he gonna be blessed. I already blessed him, like, and that's not that's nothing that I can take back. So this is why Esau is crying about another blessing. Like you only got one, my father. Okay, so verse 39, it says, And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And that's the reason why they live in the best places. You know, they're all, you know, they, they love living off the lakes. You know, they want to be high up, you know, because they still got that cave, man. And they want to be off some, on some cave shit. They done turned the whole planet into a cave, <laughs> basically. With all this damn asphalt and fucking semen everywhere, you know. But that's that's what they, you know, the Lord blessed them with that. They have the best of the land. They have the best of the cattle. They have the best of the wines, the oils, the all the natural resources. The Lord gave them that, you know, that, that blessing, you know. This is what Isaac blessed them with. They have the best of everything right now. You see? It says, and, and um, it says, and Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thy live. And that's that the article that, that we're reading. See, it's starting to now dwindle. That sword that they was blessed with, you know, they was able to, you know, um, you know, they, they still going to sell arms, but Russia is on top. You know, it's you know, I mean, um, not on top, but I'm saying a lot of these countries they they get weapons from Russia, which is Edomites. They get um weapons from China, you know, which is the Moabites. They getting they getting weapons from all these different nations, man. You see what I'm saying? They getting they getting weapons from everywhere. So it's not just the U.S. that's got it no more. It's not just the so-called white man that's got it no more. And really, in reality, I mean, it, it you know, it's prophecy playing out. Most definitely prophecy playing out, you know. Um, but Esau so goddamn greedy. He's selling his. He's selling the way that he wins to the top pair. Why would you sell if if you if you got the top weapon? Why would you why would you sell that to another nation? You know what I'm saying, you know. But Esau is greedy as shit like that. Okay, it says, and by the sword shall thy live. And shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. That's because you know we were um, when we was in when we had rulership and dominion, we was over them. We was over them, and then once they came out of their cave, so to speak, because the Lord blessed them. You know, um, he had them shit. Actually, he had the so-called white man praying like a goddamn donkey, a horse man. They ain't even had no language. They was ah ah, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord brought a, a simple, foolish ass nation up to basically enslave the the most powerful people on the planet, the Israelites, the the, the gods, and you know of the earth, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is beautiful. It says U.S. It says U.S. officials are warning about Chinese arms sales sales in the Middle East. Saying they could undermine the U.S. military's ability to integrate 
with his partners in the region. It's all about money. China isn't offering weapons that would directly replace U.S. arms, but the growing interest in what Beijing is selling reflects a long-term desire by Middle Eastern countries to diversify their suppliers. You know why they they they, they pretty much diversify in their suppliers? It's because the U.S. they'll give those countries a weapon that can't be used against the U.S. It's like they have control of the you know the, the key, you know so to speak. You know like. If they ever want to try and shoot a missile this way, it, it won't come to the U.S., so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because they're in control of where the weapon actually can be used. <laughs> Straight up, man. Esau, Esau been getting down out here, man. It says um, countries. Uh, let me see. It says. But the growing interest in, in what Beijing is selling reflects a longer term desire by eastern middle countries to diversify their suppliers. And they're increasing concern about the U.S.'s commitment to the region. Experts say Chinese arms sales in the Middle East have increased by 80% over the past decade, a result of Beijing expanding relationships there and its willingness to deliver arms faster and with fewer stipulations than Washington. And see, that's a, that's a problem with America. America, say for instance, you trying to build something as simple as a damn road or bridge man it it's got to go through congress it's got to go through this lawyer you, you need this license you need this permit you need this and that should have carry on for five years for something that can you know can be built in fucking a week in the meanwhile china they building skyscrapers in a week <laughs> they build a hey, china get down man they like fuck all them stipulations, fuck all. But see, because these crackers here, they so goddamn greedy. Everybody got to get a cut. It's got to go through this court system. It's got to go through that court system. It's got to go through here. You need this permit. You need that permit. Then you'll have some other cracker. He's he's suing because he's feeling you're, you're taking my idea. I was you know I you know you're gonna keep my family from eating. See so-called white people they're not they talk that patriotic shit but they're not actually really patriotic. They're not. You know? They don't even so-called white people don't care about shit except for <laughs> money, man. That's it. They don't care about their own people. They're not patriotic. They talk that USA shit, but they they ain't really patriotic. It's all about money. You know, everything go to the highest bidder here, man. It says um, Chinese arms sales in the Middle East have increased by 80% over the past decade, a result of um, Beijing's expanding relationship there and its willingness to deliver arms faster and with fewer stipulations than Washington. General Michael Carilla, um, Carilla Salakia, the head of the U.S. Central Command, told the Senate Armed um, Services Committee in March that there had been a significant increase in Chinese foreign military sales in the Middle East. Chinese officials open up their entire catalog, Carilla added. They give them express shipping. Express shipping, man. They, 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 they That shit is like Amazon next day. <laughs> they give them no end user agreement and they give them financing. See, you greedy ass Americans, y'all better catch on, man. China ain't... Hey, China outsourcing y'all. China way ahead of America anyway. You know, they, they far man. This place is like um, fucking uh, Flintstone age, man. When the straight come down to it, man. It says if there's a Chinese equipment, if there is Chinese equipment there, we cannot integrate it with U.S. equipment. Of course you can't. You shouldn't want to. It says Carilla said, adding that because Chinese arms sales mu moves much faster, the U.S. is in a race to integrate with our partners before China can fully penetrate the region. So, I mean, we, we don't have to go no further, really, with that, man. I, I don't, I, like I said, I didn't want to keep the lesson long, but I do want to give one more um, preset. And this is a beautiful thing, man. We love it. I love it, bro. I love it. <laughs> hey, for real, this this is scripture right here that fits it perfectly. This is Ecclesiasticus 25 and 7, also known as the Book of Sirach. If you got the um, 1611 King James Bible, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, 
and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. We're witnessing the fall of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. This shit is done, man. Esau's kingdom is through. He's falling day by day, piece by piece. The Lord is, and matter of fact, the Lord is actually um, humiliating him. Now he's got to be humbled. The Lord is humbling his ass. Because the world looking at America like, man, shh, come on, bro. <laughs> the world looking at America like this piece of shit. Hey, yo, matter of fact, it's another scripture. Let me get this one. Let me go to the blue letter real quick. Because see, there was a point where America had the upper hand. Beautiful. <clears throat> oh, Slock, I think I might have spelled that wrong. Isaiah 14 and 10, it says, All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become as weak, become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? See, these, the, them other nations, they used to be weak. The U.S., when the U.S. dropped them bombs over in Japan back in the days, about 70 years or so, 80 years ago or so, I'm, I think it's, they just had the anniversary. I'm not sure. I think maybe the 75 years or so ago. When the U.S. done that, these so-called white people were as gods on the earth, so to speak, because nobody wanted that smoke. Nobody wanted their whole damn country to be blown up like when they dropped those bombs in um, um, Hiroshima. Little boy and little whatever the fuck the bombs is named. Because they knew that America had that 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 upper hand, and that's how America them them prospered. Matter of fact, they them prospered off Negroes, you know, forever. You know what I'm saying? You know, with all the free slave work they got and built this fucking nasty ass country up. But you know, that's when they was really like on 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 you know on scene, like you know, hey y'all gonna accept every goddamn thing we push throughout the earth. You're going to accept our dollar. You're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to buy or sell without our shit. You have to convert your money into our money. We going to get all, all the shit off of you. And now, America is becoming weak. And it's a beautiful thing, man. So, you know, with that, uh, you know, call Hey, man, we love it, man. Because I, I, be, I be running across Jake and I be talking to Jake. And Jake want America to last. Jake really believe that they're Americans. Jake really want America to continue on. They're really, what they're, what they're saying is, I, I don't mind being oppressed. And I want the oppression to continue. <laughs> that's, that, that's Jake mindset, man. That's why the scripture says, Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You see what I'm saying? Choose none of the ways of the oppressor. But what did our people do? Jake want to move out of the neighborhood and go and move around Esau, the so-called white man. I want something better for my life. I want something better. They feel like better for their life and for their kids is going to move around Esau and living across the street next door to them. And you can't even talk to none of them. You know, you don't have no interactions with them at least shit in the in the hood you know you gotta kind of watch jake you know what i'm saying but you know generally jake be doing shit but, but you know the shit that they portray on the news as far as us being this horrible people it's not super duper like that you know there are crimes don't get me wrong jake go off jake is fucked all up but in the neighborhood at least you know you you can you can know your neighbor for real and interact with your neighbor man hell your lawnmower might be down and the neighbor next door shit he'll come and fucking cut your grass I mean, Esau not doing no shit like that. Esau not going to even help Esau out like that. They don't give a fuck. Shit, Esau don't like Esau. But anyway, I wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, this is a beautiful thing. This is a sign of the end days. This is a sign of um, the Lord's coming. I, you know, because the scriptures talks about be not ignorant in a, um, any matter, whether it's a great or small matter. Now, this might be a um, small matter. But this is a great matter, too, at the same time, too. It says the U.S. is quietly warning its Middle East partners about the cost of stocking up on Chinese-made weapons. Hey, China is out here like shit. You need that shit when you need it. You can get it tomorrow. <laughs> the U.S. is like, shit, with the U.S., it's going to take, we got to go through this. We got to go through that. We got to sign this. We got to get the approval from here. We got to get approval. And you, you're getting your shit two, three years later. Shit, China, like, man, you crap, what? You want to win? Oh, we'll get it there. We'll, matter of fact, we'll 
shit. <laughs> Almost like Star Trek where they'll, you know, um, teleport that shit. We got you instantly. It's like, a, hey, China not playing no games, man. They don't be doing none of that shit. And that's why America is so fucking far behind. Because these countries don't have all those, these stipulations, man, like America got. Because these fuckers are too goddamn greedy. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come here, y'all.